With major news coming out of Ukraine at this hour, President Zelensky delivering a new message to his country, signaling a major counteroffensive is now underway in the south against Russia, saying they will take back all of the areas seized by Russia, and he lists them. ABC's Brick Clement in Ukraine with late reporting on this new counteroffensive. Tonight, Ukraine launching a dramatic new counteroffensive in the south. A defiant President Zelensky telling the Ukrainian people, we are taking it all back saying, I'm sure you all understand what is happening, going on to list the regions they will reclaim from the Russians. Ukraine is returning its own, and it will return the Kharkiv region, Luhansk region, Donetsk region, Zaporizhia, Kherson, Crimea, adding of the Russians, quote, the occupiers should know we will oust them to the border. And tonight, the other troubling flashpoint, the clearest evidence yet of just how dangerously close Ukraine is coming to a nuclear disaster. New images released by a Russian-backed official showing the damage caused by shelling at Europe's largest nuclear power plant. You can see a gaping hole in the roof of a building just 300 feet from one of the reactors. This new satellite picture showing that damaged building. The Pentagon tonight saying most of the shelling is from the Russians. The Ukrainians firing back and aware of the danger as they try to aim away from the plant. And tonight, UN inspectors have arrived in Ukraine today with plans to visit that plant in the coming days and calling for a controlled shutdown of the nuclear plant. And here on the ground, a Ukrainian doctor telling me he's preparing his patients for the worst. We worked with some people who were exposed after the Chernobyl. They still have tremendous uh, health problems. It's, of course, frightening to some extent. Frightening? Of course. To have to deal with this in 2022, it's unheard of. Natalie Gorobets and her children escaping their nearby village, saying she's terrified not just of a radiation risk, but of Russian soldiers. What are you telling your kids about what you guys are doing and, and the fact that you had to leave home? It's the Russians who forced us out, fighting back tears, saying she now has to start from scratch. David, this is a huge column of cars coming in from the occupied areas, including the areas around the Zaporizhia plant, with news that the UN inspectors are coming into the country. That's very welcome to the people here who live under constant threat of a radiation emergency. David? Those nuclear fears tonight and that counteroffensive in the South Brick Clinic. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.